Michael, let's let okay. Let's start. Where were you at, and who were you following last? Yes, last night. Uh, uh, last night I was here uh, in Tyler at the Majesty Event Center, which is a really cool place when you lay it all out. And uh, the Marvion Overshone's family had the watch party there. Really nice turnout. The day, hey, man, the place was jumping so much. I almost forgot why I was there. The music, the food and all that and the dancing. I was like, oh, wait a minute. I'm working here. But uh, uh, that's, that's where I was at last night. And to see him uh, get that call and for it to be with the Cowboys, that was a cherry on the top. He went in the third round, the 90th pick, and um, I had him live in my six o'clock show from there. Um, and if he was sweating bullets, he didn't show it. He was really low key. Uh, I've only been around, uh, just a lot of love came out for him, a lot of warmth and everything. And when I had him in my, in my sports cast, man, I made as I made it a point of doing every time I talked about him the last couple of weeks. I made sure my viewers knew this guy's already graduated, you know, and I, in my, in my live shot, I opened up that way. I said, we're going to talk football, but I want the people to know that you graduated back in December. I said, I think it's important that they know you're more than just an athlete, more than just a football player. They need to know that you're about the books also. So that's, that's how I started that off. And he was appreciative of that. And he was very proud of that. He graduated. He got it. He got that paper. This is the Marvion Overshawn. He's a East, East Texas kid from Ark, Texas, which is right outside Tyler, Texas, uh, for those that may not know. And he was chosen by the Dallas Cowboys in the third round on yesterday, uh, the, the 90th overall. And he went again. He went to Ark High School and he's a Texas Longhorn. So congratulations to the, Mar the, the Marvion over Sean and his whole family you know like you said Mike this is a big deal for all these young these young men to be able to put in the blood sweat and tears that they've put in since they was probably playing peewee football to finally get a shot you know of living a dream so you definitely you know wish these young brothers a bet you know all of them and the, and the families too you know because they, they they didn't get there by themselves they had some support right. from their families and everything so, yeah, and, and, and now comes the new level of pressure. They already dealt with right. the pressure of getting there. Now there's a new level of pressure. And I don't mean making the team. There's the new level of pressure of being able to say no to people. Right. They're going to come up to you and and, and and try to, hey, remember when we can you loan, whatever the case might be. So hope, I hopefully uh, he learns that real fast. And, uh, if it ain't mama, if it ain't daddy, eh, I'm going to pick who else it could be, but they definitely on top of the list.